Hello everyone, welcome to Code Crafters Lab. So today we are going to see the next problem from the string section that is largest odd number in a string. So here uh, given a string s representing a large integer, the task is to return the largest valued odd integer uh, as a string that is a substring of the given string s. So we want to return a largest odd integer uh, as a substring between the given string. Okay, and the number return should not have leading zeros but the given input string may have leading zeros so we want to avoid uh, the leading zeros in the output string okay so here you can see the input example uh, that is s is equal to 5347 it is itself uh, uh, like a odd integer and uh, we can return it directly so let's try to see in one of the example here so here in this particular example, we have uh, a string, uh, you can see, so how many like odd numbers we can find out like and then we can find out the which one is the largest one. So 2, so 0, 0 we can uh, exclude, then 2, it's not a like a uh, odd number, it's a even, then 0 you can ignore, then 3, it's odd number, so 3 uh, can be the odd number, candidate 1, then 0, 3 we have to exclude the uh, leading zero so zero three cannot be then two zero three can be one of the candidate then one uh, uh, then one uh, is it a like an odd number yes it is an odd number so one then three one zero three one can't be then the two zero three one can be one four it's not an odd number then three it's an odd number three then four three right then one 4 3 yes 3 1 4 3 yes 0 3 1 4 3 we can't take because leading 0 is not allowed 2 0 3 1 4 3 we can take this and 8 it's it's not a uh, odd number so we can uh, exclude any combination with 8 right so now here you can clearly see 2 1 3 1 4 3 is the largest odd number we can find uh, as a substring between this uh, given string right so we can say like uh, you can observe right uh, looking at this particular example that uh, what we are doing is like uh, we know that the ending number in any uh, like a string if it's odd the entire number is odd right so that's why what we did we try to find out whether that number is uh, odd or even if it's odd if it's even we are skipping that in the end so if it's odd then we are trying to make some combination with the previous uh, like numbers in the string right and that's how we came to the conclusion that we need the odd number from backwards you can have that string as the long like the largest string in the entire string then only you will have that because three is there right in the largest string why because it's anyways like from backward it's the first odd number and till how much numbers you have taken till two right 2 is nothing but the first non-zero integer from the start of the string. So that is how you can find the largest odd number in any string, right? So that's the formula we have discovered through this. So now let's try to write a uh, like a normal pseudo code for this. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll take one uh, index equal to minus one. Uh, so it is index of the odd number basically from backward I'll traverse and I'll try to find the odd index then maybe int i i'll take then for what we'll do is like i equal to s dot length s is nothing but my uh, given string minus one i is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus so it will traverse from backward so what we will do inside this we will try to find out whether that number is odd or not that uh, like one by one we will traverse and we'll try to find out whether that number is odd or not so how you can derive the number is odd or not is simple right what you can do is like number modulo 2 equal to equal to 0 if it's true it means even number modulo 2 equal to equal to 1 if it's true that means it's a odd number right reminder is one in case of odd so what you can do here 
do you have number no it's a it's a string right so we have to convert the each character in the string into number so there is one trick for that so i'll write if s dot care at of i okay minus zero it will convert that character number into the actual number okay and then you can perform the operation modulo 2 equal to equal to 1 if it's true that means i found my first odd number what i'll do i'll do index equal to i i'll assign that number that index number of the odd number from backwards to my ind variable and i'll break through the loop okay till now it's clear right so what we did is like just like uh, we tried to find out uh, the odd index basically from backward okay then let's say if i have a number something like this as a string like input string in this case it will not find any odd number yeah right it will not find any odd number so in that case what i'll do in that case my i index variable will stay as minus one right after whole loop is executed so what i'll do if ind equal to equal to minus one then return empty string because there is no largest odd number in that particular string right in ind equal to equal to minus one then return empty otherwise otherwise what we need to do i'll what we'll do we'll again set i equal to zero then we'll write one while loop while i is less than equal to ind and and s dot care at i so basically the s dot care at i equal to equal to zero so now this loop will what will we are doing here is like we are traversing from start now we got this index index for this now we are traversing from start till we discover first non-zero integer right so what we are doing is like we are just putting one condition we don't want to go above index that is like the first odd numbers index so that's why the first condition and the second condition is like we are just checking whether it's zero or not if it's a zero then we'll increase our i variable if it's not zero we will have i as uh, whatever index we are currently iterating and once this is done we got i as my first non-zero integer my like the f i and d as my uh, like uh, the odd number from backward the first odd number from the uh, reverse traversing what we will do we will just return what we will return s dot substring substring what you have to push like uh, pass uh, for this function is like i that is like starting then i and d plus one so it will traverse till and plus one so basically we for like uh, the first odd number and it will return so it's simple as it is and you will have your first uh, like the largest odd number from the string okay with this so now talking about time complexity so time complexity so you know right here we are traversing uh, from start and we are traversing from backward but we are not overlapping and in case of what worst case there is no like uh, odd number then also we are traversing only once so that means it is nothing but o of n and space complexity it is nothing but o of one because we are not using any extra variables here so let's try to code this now so here what i'll do is like uh, int and equal to minus one okay then what we will do is right we will have our int i right for i equal to s dot length minus one is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus okay and after that inside that what we are doing we are doing the s dot care at of i okay minus zero modulo two equal to equal to 
one that means my odd number check and i am doing inside this for loop and if i found it i and equal to i and what will do will pick once this is done what will do if i and equal to equal to minus one still then return empty string once this is done i'll do i equal to zero again and while while i is less than equal to ind and s dot care s dot care at of i equal to equal to zero if it's zero then we'll do i plus plus if not we already found our first non-zero integer in i index as index then what we'll do we'll return s dot substring of i comma and plus one let's see yes it's act accepted let's submit this so yes we have successfully submitted this one so yes thank you for watching uh, we are going to be uh, like uh, regular in uploading uh, further videos uh, on the same series please do follow subscribe to our channel and uh, like share and also like uh, add your comments if you need uh, like uh, some more things around this or you have some suggestions uh, they are always welcome thank you so much for watching this